11 strange things about Swedish people. Number one, <laughs> most people actually buy their furniture on IKEA. And we also go there to eat cheap food. Yeah, we have a lot of IKEA stores in Sweden. Let's see how many we have. Okay, so there's 280 IKEA stores in Sweden. That's a lot of stores. It's the cheapest option. And obviously, if you're like high class, you don't maybe do that. But I think that almost every person who was born in Sweden has been to Ikea. <laughs> and yeah, a lot of Swedish people also go to Ikea to eat food. I've also met a, a few Swedish people who's traveling abroad and they go to Ikea to get some Swedish food. <laughs> I haven't done that yet. I really want to. If I ever do that, I'm gonna make a vlog about it. That's point number one. Number two. So this is a very common thing in Sweden, but you take off your shoes before you're entering a home. It doesn't matter if it's summer or winter, obviously. Take off your shoes if you're gonna go into a home during winter because it's, it's cold and you have dirty shoes on you. We always take off our shoes as soon as we open the front door. Like, and we put them there, something like I've been doing there. <laughs> and yeah, we, we never use shoes inside. That's, you don't, you don't, you don't do that. So when we're inside, we just use our socks or barefoot. I like barefoot. I like socks too, but I like barefoot more. Except when it's cold, because when you don't have socks when it's cold, it's cold. Number three, fika. Fika is a traditional, <laughs> it, it is a traditional way of just drinking coffee and eating sweets, basically. But we, we, we Swedish people, we decided to, to name it. So drinking coffee and eating like a cake or like a chocolate ball or whatever and just talking catching up that's fika number four allemannrättslagen i couldn't almost pronounce that so this is a law in sweden and this law basically says that you can use nature you can sleep outside even though like it doesn't matter you, you can always sleep outside if you're in nature. Um, the only thing is that you can't really destroy nature. You need to be very like, re you need to respect nature. And um, there's a few other things, but it's really cool. So basically you can, you can do a campfire wherever you are. Uh, you can camp basically wherever you are, but only for like 24 hours or 12 hours or something. I don't really know the fine print or the details, but it's called Allemannrättslagen. And this word Alleman means kind of like everyone. And rätt means rights, and lagen means the law. So everyone's rights to use nature, basically. I think there's a lot of different more details and stuff within that law. I don't live in Sweden, so I don't care, but it's a cool law. Point number five, snus. Snus is a nicotine product that people put under the lip. And instead of having a cigarette, you always, you have a snooze within your lip all the time, basically. It, I would say in my own opinion that it's worse than cigarettes comparing to the nicotine intake. Because you always have a snooze within. If you're snoozing and you're from Sweden, you know that as soon as you throw away your snooze, you kind of want a new one. So we all, when you snooze, you always have a little pouch with nicotine in your mouth, which means that you always have nicotine in your system that's why we always want to snooze all the time so in that sense snooze isn't better than cigarettes but it's also less toxins but it's still a lot of toxins in it so that's a, a nicotine product in sweden and yeah it's it could be called like chewing tobacco but you don't chew it you just have it there i was addicted to snooze when i lived in sweden uh, every time I go back to Sweden, I do buy snooze because I miss it sometimes. And yeah, number six, the word lagom doesn't really exist uh, anywhere else except in Sweden. It's kind of like balanced or like exactly the uh, right amount. So lagom means, for an example, if we're going to wash our hands and we want hot water, we want lagom hot water. We don't want too hot or too cold. We want it perfectly the perfect degree. 
So it's lagom. And this is actually also most Swedish people's mentalities. So most Swedish people want it just lagom. Swedish people don't usually want to stir up so much things in the pot, if you say it like that. They rather stay away from conflict and just like write an angry note instead if they're angry and stuff like that. Also one of the reasons why I left. Number seven, ketchup on pasta. So this is very usual in Sweden actually. You have pasta, you know pasta, and then you put ketchup on it. It's nice. That's usually what I ate after school. Snabb macaroner with Felix ketchup. Super sugary, not a lot of calories, or like not a lot of vitamins and stuff like that, but I was a teenager, okay? So yeah, pasta on ketchup. No, ketchup on pasta, it's normal to eat like that. Apparently it's not common to have ketchup on pasta, but I didn't know that. I, I just... It was kind of like half a year ago or something that someone was like, uh, what? And then I, I started researching a bit and apparently it's not a normal thing. Number eight is also a food point. Banana pizza, banana curry pizza. It's a special pizza topping in Sweden. It's basically banana and curry on a pizza. And I loved it when I was a kid. Number nine how we use double words. This is a common thing in Sweden, we usually use double words. So when we wanna say hello to someone, we say, hey, hey. So hi, hi, two times, or hello, hello. Um, tjena, tjena. But it's mostly short phrases, right? So we don't double say word that is long. Mostly like short phrases. Hey, hey. Number 10, how we celebrate midsummer. Well, it's kind of strange. This tradition is kind of strange because we make a big pole out of flowers and then we dance around the, the pole of flowers. And we dance like frogs and we're singing like we're frogs. And then every adult is drinking a lot of alcohol and partying, a lot of, a lot of partying the whole night. That's midsummer. It's a weird tradition. And most most Swedish people don't actually know why we're celebrating it. We just know that we're celebrating midsummer. And it's time to eat a lot of food and drink a lot of alcohol. And um, yeah, we are actually celebrating midsummer to celebrate the summer solstice. And the last point, number 11, the 11th strangest thing about Swedish people is that we watch Donald Duck every Christmas. It's on TV. So every Christmas on the TV, almost three million people in Sweden, I think maybe more, are watching Donald Duck on the Christmas. 24 of December, it's when we celebrate Christmas. That's our Christmas day, 24 of December. But it's weird, it's like three million Swedish people watching Donald Duck on, on that day every year. And it's the same thing, so it's not even new series or new episode or anything. It's the same videos every year. We're basically we're basically programming our mind every every Christmas. It's crazy. It's weird. We're ninety million. We're like nine ten million people in Sweden, and a third of the population of that country is watching Donald Duck every Christmas. It's strange. I think that's strange. Anyway, that was my 11 strange points, strange things with Swedish people. Do you agree? Which one was the most strangest? Which one are you like, what? Are they actually doing that in Sweden? That's weird. Write a comment if you want to, or do you do anything strange or do you know anything else that I didn't say right now about Swedish people that are strange? And what is strange even? That's just the perception of our little imaginary mind. Thank you so much for watching this video about 11 strange things about Swedish people. Have a beautiful day and smile, cry, shout, shout, shout. Let it all out. And have a beautiful day. I just said that before. It's like automatic now. I don't like that. So I need to like be more mindful of what I'm saying. I don't like having automatic things. And I know it's been that before as well. But 
I'm just saying it now. I've noticed it before. I'm just expressing it. So I will see you in the future. <laughs> Goodbye.